Hi, I'm Joey Altman with Pottery Barn, here with a delicious recipe for your next tasting party, showcasing flavors from around the world. This recipe is inspired by the flavors of Japan. It's actually a riff on famous chef Nobu Matsuhisu's miso glazed black cod. So I'm using salmon because it's more readily available, and this is the farmed Atlantic salmon, which has a nice amount of oil content, which goes great with this dish. The miso glaze is made with three very common ingredients in Japanese cooking, mirin, which is a sweet rice wine, and then sake, which is rice wine, and then this mellow white miso paste. And it's uh, white miso paste, it's a milder, a little bit more subtle flavor, and it's great for this glaze. And you just simply want to combine the miso, the rice wine, the sake, and the mirin uh, in a bowl with a little bit of sugar and water until it dissolves. And then I cook it over a double boiler, just at a low simmer for about 20 minutes and it gets nice and thick and it makes uh, the miso flavor really come out a lot more. And then after it cools, you want to pour it over the salmon. Once the salmon is well coated, you want to refrigerate this. If you can overnight, four hours is okay though. I have some here that's been marinating and is in a Pyrex glass plate that I'm going to put into a 400 degree oven. For the sesame dressing, I'm going to start with ginger and then some shallots lemon juice, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, pinch of sugar, some sesame oil, toasted sesame seeds, and a pinch of black pepper. And now I'm just gonna wanna whisk that together like that. There you go. Easy as that. For the cucumber salad, I start with a peeled English cucumber. I just cut that in half, and then I stand up the half and I cut it in half lengthwise. And then using a spoon, I would just wanna scrape out the seeds because they can be a little bit bitter. Then lay it down flat. You want to cut the English cucumber into thin half moons, like so. Then I have some sliced green onions and then some pickled ginger. Now just a couple spoonfuls of our sesame dressing. Not too much, just enough to coat. Stir it well. You want to kind of do this about five, 10 minutes ahead of time and let the cucumber soften a little bit in the marinade. For the presentation, you want to spoon some of the cucumbers in the center of the plate, make a nice little bed. Take our cooked salmon and just set that right on top. Some of our sesame dressing just around the outside and a little bit over the top of the salmon like that. And there you go. Now your guests are going to love these Japanese inspired flavors of the miso glazed salmon. Just don't tell them how easy it was. Enjoy.